Well, I'm very excited to be reading here in Lakewood because I honestly don't think I've ever given a poetry reading in Lakewood. I've read everywhere else and not here, and this is like the culture capital of Cleveland. So it was, it was a good change. It was exciting to reach a new crowd in a new uh, neighborhood. Um, I do have a new book that actually I didn't even know it was going to be here. The publisher said, we're going to print it sometimes in 2009, we don't know when, we'll let you know. And this big box showed up on my doorstep this weekend. I was like, woohoo! So I, I do have my chat book here. Um, and they're on that table if you want one, see me. I'm not a salesperson. I'm, I'm a writer. I'm too sensitive to sell. Um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to read a really old poem, actually, just because it's Irish. I'm not Irish. Can you tell? And this is the only Irish poem I've got. So I'm starting out way back in 1990-something. Um, this is a poem called Irish Song. She wears the color of violets in a room of mud, and her dulcimer sounds like bagpipes on strings, a drummer beating on a harp, the sound her hair would make if they could muster enough voice to sing in unison, sing when they're wet and smelling fresh, just before the dryness sets in and leaves their throats raw, just before the bearded Englishman requests that she play a jig, then walks away. As her eyes put themselves out on strings, walking sound out of wire, until winter begins from the end of her sticks, frosting the heart of Belfast, then thawing it with her Celtic tongue, driving out the chill that whiskey won't fix, the way her music calls her back to the moors in a mist of her mother's blood and fluid, a mist in her lungs as she draws that first northern breath and turns toward home, drinking milk from a Galway green breast, kneading the red one with silver strings. It's a very political poem. I was back when I was a little, little combat boot wearing thug, but that was the red and green Irish English, you know, whole conflict. Fuck the English, although I like to date them.